So a variant on the meeting with the goddess, instead of uh, encom- encompassing love or some kind of uh, maternal force that shows up to aid the hero, is some kind of marriage. And that could look literally like a marriage of a special emotional bond with another character. Or as frequently happens in a lot of our Disney films, the hero discovers some truth about himself and makes, or herself in Moana's case, and makes some kind of uh, change within that creates unity. So instead of seeing themselves at odds with some aspect of their life, they now make peace with this thing in now a non dualistic way and are able to shout from the boat tops, I am Moana. Just in general, a way that I would encourage you to start your day because you are Moana, I am Moana, we all are Moana. A variant on the marriage uh, sees this kind of female force in the hero's story as a temptation away from the true path. So uh, you can think about any of the uh, early uh, ancient tales, uh, including uh, a story of Adam and Eve, in which Eve uh, is tempted by uh, the snake who is representative of the devil and then in turn tempts Adam. Uh, You could think about uh, Pandora, who is sent containing a box of all these horrible things from the gods to men. Uh, And when her box is opened, uh, all this chaos ensues. You could think about the sirens in the Odyssey, uh, these bird women who sing these, uh, this tempting song to destroy uh, men when they hear the song. And so that is another kind of variant on this aspect uh, on the female side of the story. On the male side of the story, the hero might also on his way towards resolution experience atonement with the father. Uh, The father in this case, again, can be a literal father figure, or it can be a vision of just ultimate power, something that the hero has been struggling with, and again, he makes amends with. So again, you either have the sense of amends with a specific character, amends with a female force, amends with a male force, amends with the self, some kind of amends needs to take place in order for the hero to grow. Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok is an interesting uh, example of this because in the last little bit of Thor Ragnarok, maybe you recall, and I guess this is a bit of a spoiler, but Thor is fighting Hela. Hela uh, uh, strikes him with a sword and and gouges out his eye. So you have this kind of ritual dismemberment where the hero uh, succumbs to some form of death. Then as she is defeating him, he's launched into a vision Uh, where he experiences atonement with his father, uh, where uh, Odin encourages him and tells him that he's stronger than he even realizes. And after that atonement, the hero is able to experience the next part of the story, which is apotheosis. In The Lord of the Rings, this is somewhat apparent when Gandalf the Grey uh, falls to the Balrog and then uh, he returns at the turn of the tide as Gandalf the White. We have a, a clear move from a, it's almost like an entrance into divinity. And that's what apotheosis means. Uh, it means entering into a space where they are ideal or worshipped as if they were a god. And this is true of Thor as well, who goes from believing himself to be really bound up in this this talisman, the, the hammer. But when the hammer is broken, uh, that is when he taps into this more divine power and truly becomes the god of thunder uh, and now can wield lightning. But then he also gets another sweet sword, so or a sweet weapon and a sweet talisman. Another way that the hero can round out this uh, this journey on the return to uh, on the way out of initiation is uh, through the ultimate boon, and the ultimate boon is the achievement of the goal of the quest. It's destroying the Death Star. It's finding the Holy Grail. It's throwing the ring into Mount Doom. Uh, it's the uh, it's defeating Voldemort. It's the thing that we've been trying to do the entire quest, and when that's achieved, then uh, the hero is able to uh, perhaps experience another kind of apotheosis, a more mundane one, but it kind of interestingly played out in Infinity War. Again, I suppose this is a spoiler. But after Thanos completes his own hero's journey and the the quest, and and he achieves his ultimate boon in the gathering of the Infinity Stones and the subsequent result, he's able to do what he's been trying to do this whole story, which is rest. And he's able to look out over the sunset and experience a uh, apotheosis as he has made, as he has arrived to the place of divinity where he's able finally to rest from his quest. <laughs>